in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is Father Deacon Angel Palacios from the Orthodox Church in America, Diocese of Mexico, in the Mission of San Andrew in Tijuana, Baja California, Mexico. Today's Gospel is for August the 3rd, 2018, according to Matthew. Does your lack of faithfulness make you blind for miracles? Jesus came to his native place and taught the people in their synagogue. They were astonished and said, Where did this man get such wisdom and mighty deeds? Is he not the carpenter's son? Is not his mother named Mary and his brothers James, Joseph, Simon and Judas? Are not his sisters all with us? Where did this man get all this? And they took off and said him. But Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor except in his native place and in his own house. And he did not work any mighty deeds there, because of the lack of faith. Gospel of the Lord, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So, your lack of faithfulness, of faith, is preventing you from receiving miracles, or from seeing the miracles. We become cynical. We start, especially when we start working in the theological speculation, we become cynical. We want to be able to grasp everything with our mind. We tend to fantasize that we will be able to grasp God with our minds, to comprehend Him. And we are very foolish. There is absolutely no way that we can do that. But if we were simple and humble, then we would understand the word as it was meant to as it was meant to be. Let me make a small apologetic statement. James, Joseph, Simon and Judas were actually the half-brothers of the Lord Jesus Christ. According to Orthodox traditions, they were the sons of Saint Joseph from previous marriage, not the sons of the Virgin Mary. That would be, that would be absolutely nonsense. This Jacob Excuse me, this James was called the brother of the Lord of the Lord, and he actually became the first bishop of the Holy See of Jerusalem, the first one as bishop to be killed by the king of Israel. But faith, unfortunately, also going along with that thought that precludes many to see the miracles, has been pushed along in the Roman Sea, to become an ideal, a way of thought. That is not at all what faith is. Pistin, pistos, derives its root in the Greek from being faithful. When we are faithful, then we can start receiving many blessings. And we are not faithful. We do not give thanks to God. We do not give the glory to Him by obeying Him. Especially us who have been consecrated by the imposition of the hands. We offend God on a, almost on a daily basis. Out of disrespect, isn't it horrible that I, if I am pretend to talk to you, should I turn my back to you? Should I, do, should I do that? Of course not. Then all of you who have changed the orientation of your temples, Remember that you should not turn your back to God. They should be going, your temples and the altar should be going faced, facing into the east where the sun come up, comes up. Things like that and many other things that we do that are horrible really to offend the Lord. Well, what can I say? Let me just finish with that. And may the one who is merciful sent his light to all of us that we might understand and be back in faithfulness to him to whom we owe our lives and from whom we expect eternal life.